How's it going guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install zippy spacers and inlays in the Squid Industries Titanium Kraken. You can see I've already installed these mods on the bite handle, so we will do the safe handle together. The first thing I want to highlight is this is the first zippy spacer that's segmented in construction, which allows you to use it as a full block spacer, mix and match colors, as I've done here, or integrate it with the stock weight system. I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. First, take a T10 driver, and we'll start by unscrewing the pivots and the spacer screw. Your pivot is probably a little more challenging to take out than mine. I already removed the Loctite. You may need uh, two T10 Torx drivers to get that undone. I'm gonna remove the top slab. And here you can see there's 10 stock titanium weight pins. And I'll just transfer these all over to the same handle so you can see what that looks like. A couple of them got stuck, stuck on the top slab. So this is what these stock pins look like. And what we're going to be doing is replacing some or all of those with the zippy spacers. Before we get into that though, I just want to real quickly show you how to install the zippy handle inlays. Here I'm showing you I have got translucent blue inlays with a holographic finish. What we're going to do is we're going to line up the curved section on the edge here on the bottom side of the slab with the curved section of that hole. And once they are lined up, I'll push that side in and I'm just going to flip it over to confirm they are lined up. And now I'm going to just push it directly in vertically. If you've seen my other assembly videos, you know, sometimes it requires spreading them out. This is a case where you do not want to spread it out. Um, the fit requires you to press it in, press it in vertically. And then you can inspect to see that it's lined up well. You might need to peel it out and start over if you, it's offset slightly. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on this bottom slab. I'm just going to lift up this assembly and make sure that Everything's lined up. You don't have to do that if you really don't want to mess with taking the handle, the bottom handle off the table. Just gonna push it in. All right, so that's how you do the handle inlays. Quite easy. It does require disassembly though, since they go in from the bottom side of the slab. The advantage of that is that they don't interfere with the grip at all. They're recessed well below the cutout. Now, there's a couple different ways that you can implement the spacers. I'll show you the first way. I'm just gonna take out all the weight pins. So one of the important pieces of this mod is this ASA bushing here. And this is what maintains handle parallelism if you remove all of the pins. Um, the key advantage here is that the pins actually are slightly undersized by about, about 0.2 millimeters, or the bores are each undersized by about 0.1 millimeters. So if you have calipers, you might have noticed your Kraken handles are thinner at the end of the handle than at the pivots. Um, this bushing fixes that. So if you wanted, you could just run it with no weights and just the bushing, and you'd have a pretty good handle parallelism. Um, but I think the balance is better with a little weight in the end. So one of the things you can do is you could just use the bottom segment and you can use that with up to three weights. Just like that. And I'm gonna very quickly reassemble this so you can see what that looks like. So 
So this is, I'm using three weight pins in the bottom segment. You don't have to use any weight pins if you don't want to. And then you can always modify the balance to do one or two weight pins if you want a little less end weight. And then the other way you could assemble this is instead of the bottom segment, you could use the sidewall segment. And that takes up these three pin slots. And with this, you can have up to four of the weight pins at the very bottom with the ASA bushing. I do rec you don't have to use the ASA bushing if you're using these pins. Um, if you wanted to use more of the pins, you could take out the ASA bushing. I do recommend that you use the ASA bushing just for handle parallelism, but it is optional. Here I'm going to use the ASA bushing because I think the knife is better with it. And I've installed four weight pins around the ASA bushing, as well as this translucent orange sidewall. Make sure I don't have any other pins in the handle. And let's just assemble that real quick to show you what it looks like. The weights of the individual pieces are in the product description. So if you're interested in really fine tuning the balance, I encourage you to look at that. The short story is that this bottom segment is equivalent to five weight pins. The sidewall segment is equivalent to two weight pins and together they're equivalent to seven weight pins compared to the stock 10 weight pins. So this is what it looks like with just the sidewall. So it gives you a little sidewall jimping. Good handle parallelism with the ASA bushing but slightly lighter, four weight pins instead of the equivalent of five. So you can start to figure out there's almost endless possibilities for balance customization, especially because you don't need to use all four of these weight pins. You could use zero if you want. You could just have the sidewall, the, the bushing, and no weight pins. So there's pretty much endless balance configurations and it might take a little tinkering for you to decide which one is your favorite. But let's go ahead and remove this top slab. I'm gonna make these handles match and do something a little funky, which I already showed you, which is use two colors. Because these spacers are segmented, you can actually use two different colors. So I'm gonna use a translucent orange bottom segment and a translucent green sidewall and put them together. You might see that the bottom segment flares out a little bit. Uh, that's completely intentional, don't be alarmed. Um, that will get tightened down and cinched together when you tighten the, uh, the slabs and that produces a really, uh, really nice sound and solid construction. Having some positive pressure on the material. So now I'm just gonna tighten this down. Now you'd have to get two sets of spacers in different colors to achieve this dual tone effect. But that just shows you, this is like the full block spacer setup if you use both segments and none of the weight pins. Anyway, that is the end of the video. You've just successfully installed the zippy handle inlays and zippy spacers and whichever balance configuration and ergonomic configuration you wish. So thanks for watching guys.